The CDC says in 2016, more than 23,000 babies died after birth. And today, doctors are doing everything they can to bring that number down. And tonight, KSNT News Morning anchor Brittany Moore introduces us to Super Tory, who's helping local physicians practice emergency situations. Meet Super Tory. <laughs> Stormont Vale Hospital in Topeka now has its most advanced neonatal simulator. She has a realness about her that really allows our team um, to be able to simulate real life situations um, with the neonatal or newborn population. I had the chance to watch one team practice a mock code neonatal resuscitation on Super Tory. So, something that would happen right after delivery, if maybe a baby wouldn't take off well, we would call our resuscitation team in from the NICU, and they're able then to kind of practice um, any of the different scenarios. Will somebody start the chest compression? Super Tory was a gift from the Stormont Vale Foundation and multiple donations from the community. Today, the hospital has completed over 20 simulation trainings since the start of the year. Super Tory has robotics. And so she can simulate a seizing baby, so she has movement. Um, she's also able really just to display um, the same cues that a real baby would have. Um, so you have to keep in mind that this patient population can't speak to us and tell us what's going on. So the lifelike features that they have of being able to have Super Tory change colors and become pale or um, the movement that she has really helps our staff make sure that they have developed those critical thinking skills. Can you put the right question? Teamwork is a top priority at Stormont Vale. So if a baby isn't breathing or their heart rate is down, this allows the team the ability to function together and identify roles and really practice and develop their critical thinking in those heat of the moment events. Practicing so that they are ready when the emergency is all too real. Brittany Moore, KSNT News.